Hello, and welcome back to Journey to Rooted Hold. Uh, this is where we left off. And uh, actually, one thing I did want to quickly comment on in this room, which is something I found a little bit weird, is that this room has evil eyes, which didn't appear anywhere else in this hold up to this point. I know there's going to be another secret room later where we're going to have wraith wings that are going to be well before we actually see wraith wings in any required levels. It's kind of a curious design choice, I think, having these secret rooms that have enemies you haven't really dealt with before you actually deal with those enemies. I don't know, it just seems a bit odd. But I guess the, the evil eyes are, I mean, if you could, if you understand roaches, then evil eyes are pretty obvious how they work. You'll figure it out really quick. As for this room, we have some roach queens here. Uh, if they get stuck in either of these alcoves, we can't do anything, which, well, we, we can't kill them, uh, which means that we don't want to start the room from this side, which is going to be a bit obnoxious because I need to cross the room in order to actually do anything with it. Uh, fortunately, they won't lay any eggs there, so I guess that makes it easier. Uh, we can also read the scroll while we're at it. Challenge, don't drop any trapdoors. Okay. Don't drop any trapdoors. Uh, why would I drop trapdoors? I guess I would, coming in here, I would drop these two trapdoors to prevent these two queens from getting up there as I go through, so stab this one, drop the trapdoor, then come over here and run through. I mean, yeah, I, I can do that, but... Yeah, it doesn't seem all that exciting. This is not the most efficient way of dealing with these roaches, but it'll work. Got them done. Uh, that's obnoxious timing. Obnoxious again. I, I use that word way too much, I've noticed. In a lot of my LPs. Um, obnoxious just means like mildly irritating, but not actually all that terrible, I suppose. I'm gonna use it. So yeah, catching that one before she runs away makes my life a little bit easier. Then we've got this. I was a little bit too slow. I was hoping to hit this tile on turn 30 so that this queen would step there and just plug the hole for me. But now, if I try to wait on that, oh, okay, I don't get much choice. Whoops. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't send her out either. Man, okay, I... I just missed all of the cycles there. This is this is highly unoptimized. If I send you now, how is this gonna work? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess that works. Seven was the magic number. <laughs> like roaches in a trap, huh? Yeah. Oh, I didn't I did see what that was, but it looked like it might have been a four something. Or as in 40. Uh, highly inefficient. Uh, no challenge on this room. Uh, here's the exit. No challenge here, so this is going to be fairly straightforward. Um... Hmm. I guess getting these queens caught on the roaches was the only way to do that for the challenge. Could have gotten them caught here, could have gotten them caught here. Uh, no, actually, I could have gone here and then here and gotten the queens stuck in these little alcoves. That might have been better. Oh well. Now this room... There's not really a whole lot to it. You just kind of go. You could be making different choices along these paths, but it wouldn't be as 
is satisfying to just bounce around this way. Now here you do actually have to break your pattern slightly. Uh, you didn't there, I'm just kind of doing whatever at this point. Drop all the trapdoors. And kill the roach. And I believe that's going to be a first place tie if I do it that way. Yep. Just make sure there's no secrets there. I mean, I know there isn't, but the habit to have. Alright. So kill all the roaches, uh, we have to go around this way. Doesn't really matter where I step here, it's going to take the same amount of time anyway, because I have to wait for the roach to get to me. Alright, that should also be a first place tie, unless I screwed it up. Uh, I did, okay. Could have been done slightly more efficiently somewhere along the way, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll optimize on my own. Okay, this room, I have to start from in here. Right, we just want to get these get these roaches out without going to the maze ourselves. Okay. Let's just get you all. Uh, already this is oops, well okay. Well <laughs> um horribly inefficient. I mean that didn't help, the fact that I just didn't pay attention to that. But no, I should have gone further to get you around. Uh, I think, actually, if I really want to do this efficiently... I have to get you out first. Okay, well, that means... We want to start here. It's because the way you're, you're in here, everybody else kind of hooks around the other way, but you hook around in a different way here. Uh, I need to get you through here, that's not going to be a problem. That might have been slightly inefficient. Uh, okay, you did make it through. There we go. Sixth place, okay. Unique sixth place, that's unusual. Uh, this... This room... It's just, uh, how well can you read arrows? See the path. There is only one path. Through. Take the south path here so we don't cut ourselves off when we try to leave the room. And I don't think we get any choices there, either. Did I screw this up? I think I did. Sorry, I'm going to actually restart that. Because I should have broken that wall uh, for optimization purposes. I know, I say I'm not going to optimize, and then I do, and then it's just, you know, whatever. I make I make a half-hearted attempt at optimizing. That's how I entertain myself with rooms that are easy. Yeah. There we go. Oops. Undo that. Defeat all of our hard work. It uh, doesn't matter which way we go here. First place tie. Okay, so I managed to I managed to tease that one out at least. Uh, before we exit, we have to. I guess that's supposed to be a tease for skipping the blue door. 
Okay, we got one for symmetry, I guess. I do not remember how this works exactly. Um, how the path is arrived at. But that will do. And again with the secret room with the evil eyes. Kill all eyes while standing on the trapdoors. Interesting, okay. Uh, obviously when there are challenges in a room I'm not even thinking about optimizing at that point. So what was the trick with this this room? You have to go around. You have to go around um, multiple times in order to wake up all of the eyes. Well, okay. The first time that you go around, you can wake up all of the eyes. The second time, and then, and then you have two more passes in order to get them all out. And I think that's, like, none of these instructions are complicated enough that, uh, well, actually, you could be an issue. If you're awake and then we do this, you come in there. Ah, uh, maybe. I mean, we can just double back to here, though. Like, does it really matter? I'm going to run with the assumption that it doesn't really matter. Wake up as many people as possible. Okay, let's get this one out. So we're going to go around this way first. leave ourselves lots of room. Also not making any diagonal moves just to make sure I'm not skipping the evil eyes anywhere along the way. Okay. So from here... Well, I can get you out. We're doing that. So am I going around this way again? I have to go around this way, we'll get all of you out. It won't get you out. It will get you out. Okay, I have to I have to do both paths because of you and you. Uh, let's just go this way because this is where I am. Yep. And here we go. Kill all eyes while standing on the trapdoors. Did I fail the challenge because I stepped on the floor in the middle of that process? Uh, only thing I can think of. Okay, well, I mean, it's not really all that hard. I just have to... that and then basically do the same thing I did I feel like that challenge scroll was poorly worded if that is in fact the issue that I had yeah fight them on the trap doors Poorly worded challenge scroll. Okay. Yeah, got the challenge. Got a respectable 44th place tie. Uh, that was a tie, right? Um. Hmm. I think that's everything on this level. We've done everything, we've got the two secrets, which were both evil eye secrets uh, on trapdoors. I mean, they were trapdoor themed, which this is a trapdoor themed level, so I suppose that's appropriate. But it is kind of weird to me that they were evil eye rooms. Because you could very easily have done like that last puzzle that we just did with roaches, for example. In fact, I believe there is a roach room using that concept that happens much later. But anyway, onward to the fifth level.
Danger lies in the most unexpected places. Also, it lies in a lot of expected places, from the sayings of King Orin the Pessimistic. Ah, Wubba's. It's quiet here. Quiet and cold. Man, I hated Wubba's so much when I first played this hold. Peaceful here, but I won't be lulled. I'm unlullable. Unlullable. You say so, Bethro. Got some arrows here, blue door here, so we don't really have any choices yet. Ah, uh, beware, Wubba's. Um... I think I want this orientation for this one. Not gonna read the scroll. I guess it didn't really matter all that much. Um... Is charging me. If I wanted to, I could probably get back around. I mean, I could I could have ditched the web up here and then just gone back right away. I'm gonna have to do that on a second pass, I guess. Which is gonna mean that I'm gonna have to go through the entire level multiple times. Now let's just get my score. Seventh place tie. What? You can do that faster? Uh, I am gonna restore, but not to redo this room. Although that does kind of... Oh wait, I could start from over here, maybe. Ah, uh, well, no, because... Hmm. Okay, this is actually... This is bothering me, bothering me a lot more than it should. So I can... I do that. But how can I possibly do this any faster? If I already messed up? Okay, I think I see. I think I see. Scavations. That will Yeah. This so puffy. My sword just goes right through them. Seems pretty harmless though. I think I missed that dialogue on my first playthrough. No. What you actually do here? Is that? Got a handle on these critters. All right, which I guess means we're clearing out this wing before we do that room, after all. And then I am actually optimizing this. Oh well, bonus optimization. Uh, this room. Right. I need to get the wubbas out and make a shield out of them. And I don't think I get a lot of choices. Um, probably could have done that faster, but. Then we just do that. Uh, whoops, that's not gonna work. Which means I'm dead. Okay. Hmm. Okay, going on that side works. Uh, what does this do? Oh. Oh. Okay, no room here. Just, uh, stairs. And this is the angle we want the sword at, yep. Oh. I don't even have to worry about the wubba this way. Okay, that's gotta be a first place tie. What? No, okay. How, how could I possibly have been more efficient with that? have to hit that, which means the sword has to be at this angle. Uh, 
Uh, actually, okay. I don't know why I'm fixating on this one room so much, but you know, sometimes, sometimes when you play draw, you do this to yourself. I think because it's so simple, it looks like I should be able to get a first place on this. Can I get around the roach without killing it? Uh, Wubba moves first, okay. So now the goal isn't to kill to, to kill the roach. The goal is to See, if I do that, I don't actually get around you. Hmm. Is there a way I can do this? I guess if I do... That? That's something different, but that doesn't help me actually. That puts the, the Wubba in a bad spot. Okay, no, I need I need them I need them to be higher. That's the first place. Okay, we got it. Solved the room. Okay, secret down here. Uh, is that where we want to start? There's not really any reason to be in this whole section, so we might as well do the secret first, I guess. So I may have hated Wubba's once upon a time, but not anymore. I'm quite, quite comfortable with them now. And here's the random Wraithwing room I was talking about. What have I done? Gotten myself into all kinds of trouble. Just get you down. Not very efficient, but it got the room done. Uh, not much to say about that one. Just kill some wraith wings. All right, we're gonna come up here. Hit that. Uh, I noticed that we haven't seen health in a while. That orb. I'll just kind of disappeared, I guess. Ooh, that was a little bit dangerous. Kill the Roach Queen, uh, almost certainly, yes. And then we have a problem with 
having a lot of Wubba's on us. Well... It's fine for this room. Um, well, I was going to say that's fine, but no, I've made a mess of that. I guess I don't have time to make it down here, do I? Oh, I do. Okay. Get it through. Yeah, you just want to run along a wall and you get all of the... The Wubba's lined up nicely. And I guess if I wanted to be super efficient, I should have gone the other way. Because I could exit here. I'm going to exit here in this case, I guess. Uh, this is fine. Uh, let's just wait here, because... whoops. Otherwise, things were going to get kind of nasty. With the uh, roaches getting stuck among the Wubba's. Nobody wants that. And already done. Short level. Yeah, no, this one was so hard the first time I played this room, but knowing, uh, being familiar with how Webas work now and understanding why it makes sense to, to hug the walls makes this a lot easier to, to manage. Alright. Right, and usually I think, like the first time I played through this, of course I killed the roach, went this way, didn't get, get in here. You have to replay this, and then I think you have to go around a, a third time. Or second time. Uh, challenge, don't drop any trap doors. Okay. And we can probably manage that. The, the hardest part about that is going to be getting at the roaches, I guess, that are behind them. Um, which isn't going to be terribly hard, but... Now I could just do this. Keep them mostly contained. Again, being familiar with how roaches work. I'm not all that concerned about a lot of this. Uh, I probably should be though, because this is going to be a problem. One, two, three... Oh no, I think I can actually do this. Oh, well, no, I can't, because there are roaches in there. Okay, well, we'll get that one out first. You know what? Let's just go around again. Uh, nope, let's go up here. The web out of the way. Gets that one dealt with. Oh, you're going to be trouble. I need to wait, or I could have just gone in there. Uh, that would have been the, the more sensible way of doing it, and in fact, that is ultimately what I'm going to have to do anyway. Can I get past a Wubba in there? Yeah, easily. Okay. Uh, this Roach Queen already escaped, there's just a Roach in there. Well, that's awkward. Of course the web is faster, it would be. Okay. 
can't deal with that. Which means this is going to be a little bit tricky. Uh, this is actually a, a problem. Oh no, I can I can chase the queens out and then get the web out after. So I'm not necessarily oops, not necessarily stuck. We're going all the way around. Ah. Okay, what we really want is we want this passage here completely clear of Wubba's. Okay. So let's just... Do what we can to facilitate that. Yes. We'll do that. Bring this web out. Uh, let's just wait for a roach spawn. Yeah, no, I can't rush in there now, because this one's going to get in my way. We have to clear. Clear that. Well, we can just do this. That will... Oops, swab is in the way. That'll get you out. Everybody loves a Wubba. Uh, nope, don't need to go down here. I thought that was a scroll for a second. No scrolls here. Okay. Relatively painless room then. Uh, we need to hit that. Is there any reason we wouldn't just hit that right now? Well, there might be efficiency reasons not to, but I don't see any other reason. We drop this, drop this. Um... Oh, I see. The Conquer Token here is to make the room high scorable, because it wouldn't have been without the Conquer Token. Alright. Hi, Uncle Bistro. Alf, what are you doing? I was just playing with the Wubbas. You never told me about them. But you... well, I... Ah, uh, come on. Let's go. Follow me. Yep. Alright, got ourselves a health. The reason we're doing this is because when we hit that, the tunnel prevents health from hitting it for us. This Weba will block us in place. We hit. No prob. So health. And keep us from getting trapped. And then we hit that. Uh, we don't even have to hit that ourselves, we can get health to do it for us. It's probably more efficient. Going. Yeah, 
Yeah, knowing how to peel what was off of you on corners is definitely a good skill to have for dealing with these things. I learned my lesson. I'm not touching that arrow. It's okay. Come with me. Oh no, Uncle Bethro! The wobblers are blocking my way to the stairs. Help! I'll go through that passage. Wait! No additional dialogue. Okay. Yep. So Half, uh, Half just disappears. Does his own thing. It doesn't really ever make sense what Half is doing. He's just kind of there sometimes, not there sometimes. It's just what he does. Uh, early attempts at geological biovitalization did not have the finesse found in our current achievements. Extreme caution must be used when dealing with the more primitive products of this experimentation. 43rd Geozoologist. Alright. Uh, Fortress. I guess this is the first level in the remake that has a new style? There were only three styles. This would have been Deep Spaces or Foundation. I want to say Foundation, actually, originally, but I could be wrong. Golem, what's that? Is it a rock? Alright. Ah, uh, whoops. Oh well. Not optimized. Uh, that's fine. I think I actually did that too quickly. I remember there being another line of dialogue there. Golem, what's that? Is it a rock? No? Hmm. Maybe I was thinking of something else. Yeah, unlike the Wubba, the Rock Golems were an enemy that I actually really liked the first time I, I encountered them. It's amazing just how much of a difference uh, it is having a monster that leaves an obstacle behind. That has so much utility, there's so much you can do with that. It is not hard like a ah. rock. This is the dialogue it's I was thinking soft. of. If it is soft, we must crush it! Uh, do I want to wait for you right away? Uh, I don't think it actually... Oops. Oh, we are in line here. It doesn't really matter, I guess, if I wait here. Yeah, because I'm just going to have to do a back and forth anyway. Well, actually, that might be one turn faster. like that. Having to be careful with the narrow passages so that you don't get yourself stuck. Was this good enough? I don't know. That trap door looks suspicious. Ah, we got through. Wait like that, so we can get through here. Yeah. 
Not too bad. Some straightforward golem smashing. Uh, again, more of the same. Yeah, so you can see that the golems move a little bit funny on your sword. scroll here. wonder when we're going to get a golem related challenge. Oh, well that's unfortunate. I don't really want to kill you there. Let's look at you there instead. Preserves my path, which lets me lets me do that. Which I had to do. In order to get to here safely. Should do it. Yeah. With really easy horde rooms like that, I just don't really have a lot to say. It's just a process. Go through it. Be faster than I was, probably. Uh, that'll be. Oh. Thirty-nine Slayer says a troublesome delver, Beethro Budkin, is going down to the Empire. He's asking to send some help. Okay, I'm on it. Oh, I've got the runners still. Yeah, we're not clearing this until we get up there. Yeah, this is a much bigger level than the, the Wubba level, if I remember correctly. Oh, another one of these? Okay. Really gonna make sure that we do the... Oops, I messed that up. Get our... Golem... Horde practice in. Fortunately, I don't think we're gonna have... Whoops, I think it's actually a lot faster to just do this. But then I have longer to walk afterwards, that's the thing. Oops, I need to do that. Hopefully, hopefully not too many more of those uh, golem horde rooms. They're not all that interesting, just killing a whole bunch of go golems in a big open space. Well, nope. And still no challenges. Whoops, I don't know what that was. Key repeat, I guess. I uh, could have saved myself some moves there by not turning. doing? So if I do that, uh, I'm fine because I can just make a, a pattern. Which way am I going? Uh, I could go down here or I could go up here. I think the green door is going to be the faster exit. Okay, I need to do that to get through there. 
means we don't even need to hit that orb. Challenge, don't use health. Well, I'm guessing that we're gonna have health in this room. I'm back. Yes, you are health. I probably shouldn't have spent time turning right there. Well, I'm just assuming I kind of need to hit everything. Um, again, we're doing a challenge. This isn't an optimized run, so I'm not going to think about it too hard. I'm just going to... Just going to go. Yeah, getting a little bit... Uh, a little bit tight here. Some of these corridors. our sword to deal with you. Good, get them out. Actually, we need to be over here some more. Do that. And I can't get you from the bottom, so I actually have to go down. Oh, what opens this? Only that. Okay, that's kind of annoying. Just means I did it in the wrong order. And that lets me get you down. Okay, there I think I can get through. Yep. And we got one more orb to go. We do have to hit all of these orbs because... a golem behind that last door. On replay, this has not been one of my favorite levels, just because it's been kind of repetitive. Alone among the stones. Okay. I haven't really had any interesting rooms yet, and even that challenge wasn't really all that interesting. Uh, this is just winding all of the golems out of the spirals. We have to... Hit both orbs and drop the trapdoors to kill this golem and also those roach queens. So let's just get to it, I guess. What's going on? Uh, hi, Alf. I don't know if this is particularly efficient or not, but I've decided that I'm going to be doing all the golems at once. Which means I'm going to be making big winding circuits of the room. I need to wait a little bit here. Also need to wait a bit here.
Oh, uh, I was a little bit too fast there. I should have moved you one. Uh, well, you'll move down. Yeah, I've obviously not optimized this perfectly. Oh, did I really? Man, what? I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so we've cleared this one out. Oh, I should have been in this row this whole time. I need health to hit that for me, and also to hit that for me. Door. Got it. And then I oops, I deal with the trapdoors. Deal with the trapdoors while that's going on. Alright, and that Wubba, or sorry, Wubba. That Golem Corpse keeps me nice and safe. Uh, oh, I can't even direct half towards that until I've dropped this. I suppose this is an interesting use of half having to plan ahead a little bit. Now I can just kill those Roach Queens. Whoops. Uh, unlike that central spiral, this one is safe because no Roaches are going to come at one side. Uh, let's just get half started. And then... Really? Oh. And I might have actually just gotten myself into a dangerous situation here. Yeah. Caught a block with a roach going in there. That's fine. Uh, let's leave around going around this way to get the roach back out. Oh, that was a room. Uh, four golems here. Kill them as quickly as possible. That's going to be something like that, right? That wasn't perfect. Oh, it was perfect. Okay. Well, I mean, it's it's the best that people have done, but I'm sure for a hold like this that that will have been thoroughly optimized. And it's another horde room. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to take me. Uh, probably not five minutes. Um, but, you know, I don't need to push right up to the edge of an hour every single time. Got this room to finish, and then we're done the level. Uh, well, no, we still have down here as well. But I think that's, uh, that was fairly productive today. Finished basically two levels. I've got most of the golems done. Got the web is done and finished off the trap doors as well. Uh, this level, I guess, because of the lack of challenges, just hasn't really been. Well, this and the web level both have been pretty easy going. But anyway, I'll finish this up next time. I will see you then.